I'm Alex. Today on my C2 how to use I'm, the basics of iMovie 09. First, let's go to your iMovie 09 on your Docker and your applications. Um, the first thing you're going to want to know about iMovie 09 is how to make a video with iSight. So you click on this little thing right here, right here. Click on it, and this thing will open up. And you want to click the capture button instead of done. So I click capture, this comes up, click capture again, and you can make your very own video clip right in the comfort of your computer. Click stop to end it. Wait for the generating thumbnails to end. Click done, and you have your video clip right here. Now what you want to do is if you want to use it in a video clip, you bring it down to the timeline. Now you can make your very own video clip right in the comfort of your computer. Now that you're done with that, well, how about we add a title? You click the T right here. And you can make your very own video clip right in the comfort of your computer. That is very much true, but you can shut up now. Then you can add your very own video clips. Or did I say video clips? I meant titles. You click the titles. There's centered, which is just normal, lower third, um, a lot of the other ones, like four corners is that, vertical drift is this, and this is what the full thing looks like. And then you have this overlap, drifting, and many more that you can use. Today I'm going to be using sideways drift. So let's drag it to the timeline and I'm going to put it in the front because it's the title. Now what I want to do is I want to click one of the things. I'm going to click the water one because I like water. So you click the water and then you have to edit your titles. So you delete both these and you click right here. Let's just say how to make a video. Now what you want to make is maybe a little caption by Alex. Now that you're done with that, you got to clip off it and you can watch it. And you can make your very own video clip right in the comfort of your computer. Now what you want to do is then once you're done with that, you might want to add some music to the beginning of it. Now, you can use either use your iTunes or you can use GarageBand, your regular like music, and then iLife Sound and iMovie. What I'm going to be using this is I'm going to search something. Let's try finding something that actually is music. We're going to pick this one. Your per your book story. Perfect. But I need to increase this clip. As you can see, I can't. So I'm just going to add it to the timeline, and I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to edit it. So this is... Hello. What's doing with this? Hello. Hello. What's going on? Try to make your thing seven minutes. Seven seconds. What you want to do is you want to do this. You want to play it. So press the space bar. Now if I can figure, ever figure out how to get rid of this, it will be pretty nice. But now that we're done with that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to maybe add some pictures or anything, transitions right in between it. So let's try doing something kind of cool. Like, um, swap. Swap will cost them. Put it right here. Press the mark. And you can make your very own video clip right in the comfort. That was very sketchy. And you can make your very own video clip right in the comfort of your Perfect. Now what you're going to want to do once you're done is you want to be able to save it. Unfortunately, this video does not show how to save it, but it will some other time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy your banana show. And this is about it. Um, bye, y'all. I forgot what you clicked. Control system. Control. It's shift command.